am Nisha Jamwal. I've always been very fond of art. I won't say I'm a collector. I'd rather say I'm a lover of art. Um, since forever, I've painted before I could write. I react to color. I react to spaces. As you already know, I'm an architect. And when I saw the collection, The Thinking Man, I was riveted. I was moved. It's a poignant collection. It's by an artist who went through a bit of a should I say a down phase and came out triumphant with a collection of works and what she went through is so beautifully depicted in these works. I see a body of works of thoughtful, thinking, um, nearly depressed men who are breaking the shackles, the chains of anxiety and coming out enlightened and with a new with a new life, with a new existence. So I automatically insisted that I should allow, I mean, she should do a show, and I agreed to present and curate this show. Long way, uh, and she's a very talented, bright mind, which I think is now coming out again into the open. And I think that it's been a long time where this talent has been brewing and brewing. So I'm proud of her, and I think it's going to be a, a very successful show. Thank you. and. All the best, my darling. Thanks. You deserve it. <laughs> Nisha has always been a very warm, uh, you know, spirited, always helping out and making sure that people get together, right, like-minded people. I think her uh, magnanimous and her behavior is so wonderful that she, you know, it just is a, you know, Who's ball of her? energy. So Thank I'm happy so to be here and I, I always would love to be in connection with and her. And I want to say about Zareen Khan that she's a woman I really admire and respect. I'm, I've done this show because of Zareen Khan and there's something very special about this lady who nurtures, protects and gives impetus to all artists which is, which is the re one of the reasons apart from Suzanne's creativity that all her daughters are shining and doing so brilliantly in the Indian firmament and uh, kudos to Zareen that she actually pushed Ritu to do this show and when I curated it, I couldn't help thinking that it was Zareen who actually, uh, you know, uh, took this talented and brilliant artist. When you see the body of works, you'll realize what I'm saying. Took this artist and insisted that a reticent and shy artist come out and present her art to the world of Bombay. Congratulations, Ritu. Ritu. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. And congratulations, Zareen Khan, oh. yes. for bringing us all together, her daughters, yes. her artists, me, and making, you know, having such a warm and giving and generous heart. So sweet. We love you, Zareen. <laughs> yeah. What can I say with all these lovely compliments? First, let me talk about the artist. She's a friend of mine from, I think, eons. I won't say how many years because then it'll be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's a wonderful friend, a wonderful artist. And who else could have brought all this to her? I uh, with the special lady called Nisha Jamwal, who is itself, the amount of praise that she's given me, I'm, I don't know, no, I'm very happy and thank you very much for it. But she's also the same. She uh, promotes artists and she promotes people. She's got a good heart and I'm so happy that she's involved in prote uh, protecting and uh, proving that my friend is really a very good artist. So I wish her all the best and I hope that it's a total sellout. Thank so, you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I have to say that when I saw her first work, I could immediately identify with it. I have seen her for a lot of years. This is the style of Ritu. It is actually interesting that Ritu can do this kind of work and it is a very appealing work. There is a little darkness, a little dirt and there is a lot of feeling from knowing what Ritu is and what her life has been. और मैं बहुत ही खुश हूँ कि मैं आई आज और ये इतना अच्छा एक्सप्रेशन मैंने देखा। थैंक यू। Yes, I've been following Ritu Dilan's work for many years now. You know, as we both are artists, I'm an artist too, so I've been connected with her work and her new series. I must say, is very contemplative. It's very personal and. 
on quite modern, it's quite contemporary, and I do like some of the works very much. You know, um, I, I like the fact that she's evolved in this show. Earlier, she used to speak through her figures, eyes, um, you know, that used to be the focal point in her work. But now she's moved and she's evolved and she's uh, possibly taken a risk. Uh, but the point is that she did it and that's what I really uh, appreciate. And because I, I myself evolve, I like to evolve um, consciously and I hope unconsciously it happens. Um, yeah, so I, I do like some of the works and yeah, she's, it's, uh, certain works are, there's more mood in her work I think. It's more for her than, and less for the market. Well, I'm here today because of Nisha, she's a very dear friend of mine and uh, she's very interested in art. So if she's promoting somebody, that person has to be. And I must say that after seeing the paintings, yes I do see them. It's a very interesting concept for the thinking man as of today. Very required, the thinking man. So true. <laughs> thinking and uh, going inside is so rare. It's all about going outside. I mean, what I'm seeing is a very evolved perspective on different people and uh, interesting. It's, uh, it's just one thing. So, I like the colors. I think uh, blue is my favorite. So. <laughs> and it's interesting that the colors are predominantly monochromatics. Yes. Blues and whites and blacks. So it, 